Hi there everyone, how's it going? Today in this video I'm going to show you a foolproof way to get your running shoes looking new again. But first, if you're new here, I'm Pearl. I'm a wife and mom of three and I love finding ways to live more organized, live beautifully and live a happy life on a budget. If you want that as well, be sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon to get my upcoming videos. With all that being said, let's get into the video. Here are my daughter's shoes from last year. They're in great condition as you can see, but they are stained and scuffed, so I decided to take on this challenge. Before you start, check to see if your shoes can be immersed in water and if detergents can be used on them. If not, this method will not work for you. First off, fill a bucket with hot water, enough to immerse your shoes in. While the bucket is filling, Add some OxyClean up to the first mark on your scoop. For dark colored shoes, use regular detergent instead of OxyClean, such as Sunlight or Tide. Now, immerse your running shoes and let it soak for about one to two hours. All right, my shoes have been soaking for about two hours now, so take an old toothbrush and start lightly scrubbing all over. Be gentle so that you don't pull up the fibers. You can also go ahead and do the same for the shoelaces. Then take a scrub brush and rigorously scrub the soles of your shoes. You'll have to put in some elbow grease here to get the soles clean, especially if the soles were white to begin with. The next step is to scrub the insides of your shoes with your toothbrush and you can uh, press a little here as well. When you're satisfied with how clean it is, remove them from the water and empty your bucket. Fill up your bucket with fresh water and dunk your shoes a few times to get all the soap off. You may have to do this a few times. Empty the water, refill your water, and then dunk your shoes in. Then you're going to squeeze your shoes gently, being careful not to bend the rigid parts, like the back of the heel. Also, don't wring your shoes, because that can rip the soles. Now you're ready to put them outside to dry. The more sunnier it is, the faster they'll dry. Still, you may have to put them out a few days in a row to get them really completely dry. Alternatively, you can dry them indoors. Just know that it may take a little longer. And so here are the final results. Just to show you the before and after again, here are my shoes before, and here are the shoes after. I'm so amazed at how clean they are, and all it took was a bit of effort. So I hope you'll try this method if you have shoes that you need to get clean. If you need more videos on how to clean your school gear, check out the playlist on the screen now. Give this video a like if you liked it, and I hope you'll subscribe to Journey into a more organized, more beautiful, and more happy life on a budget. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. It really means a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.